Hey Vs, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are making a really simple four ingredient creamy French green clay face mask. There's two major parts to this formulation. Part one is the clay. You can probably guess it's French green clay. So that is my favorite clay for making face masks with. The other part of this project is the creamy base. So it is mostly safflower oil, but you could use a different liquid oil or blend of liquid oils to make up that same percentage, just kind of based on what you have and what your skin likes. I've also included some subtle alcohol for its gorgeous silky thickening. And last but not least, a touch of emulsifying wax. The inclusion of the emulsifying wax gives us two kind of big benefits. Benefit number one is that it's just a lot easier to wash off because it has an emulsifier in there. So when you introduce water, you know, in the form of like a shower, for instance, that's a great way to take off a face mask or a damp washcloth. It incorporates quite easily and rinses off very cleanly. It gives a bit of a cleansing balm like effect to this face mask. The inclusion of an emulsifier also also means that if you want to incorporate a little bit of water during the application of the mask, you can do that too. I wanted to do a bit of a use demo, so let's jump to a post yoga Marie to show you how this mask works. So here we are, here's our tin of lovely creamy goodness, and I'm going to kind of show you both ways that you can do this. So way number one is you're just going to take, you know, kind of a finger swipe full and massage it into the skin as it is. So if you wanna do sort of way number one, you can leave it like this. So this will be more of a sort of moisturizing and gently exfoliating mask because there's no water in here. It's not really gonna dry out a lot like a, kind of a, just a clay and water mask will, but you know, it does have lots of lovely emollients in it. And as you wash it off, you'll get a bit of gentle physical exfoliation. So that's kind of way number one. Way number two, we start the same, same way with the uh, gorgeous green, facial smear, but we're gonna grab some hydrosol. So this here is Rose Hydrosol from Mystic Moments, gorgeous hydrosol. And one of my favorite things about it is that it comes in a bottle with a mister top on it already. But basically what I like to do, take your favorite hydrosol, mist, and then I'll sort of gently just kind of work that in because there is that emulsifying wax in the base. It'll get a little creamy. And you can kind of just do that to your heart's content until you're happy with it. You know, choose your favorite hydrosol, adds a little bit of sort of aromatherapy to the whole masking experience. And now because there is some water in there, it will start to dry out and you'll get a bit more of that sort of tightening sensation that you get with a clay mask that contains water, but it's still nowhere near as drying as a face mask that will generally have significantly less oil than this stuff. So those are kind of your two options. So I'm gonna go hang out off camera here and let this dry for a bit and then I'll be back and I can show you how easily this wipes off, which is a huge bonus of uh, this way of doing a face mask. Okay, so it's been about 15-ish minutes. You can see that we really don't get the same kind of really massive visual change that you get with a clay and water face mask that because they really dry out and so you get quite a lot of visual changes going on there with the, the clay changing colors. Uh, not so much here. Uh, so to take this off I've got a microfiber cloth and I have a, a bowl of warm water in front of me but you know obviously I don't usually do this in a photo studio. I would do this in my bathroom with a sink in front of me uh, but I find that this just wipes off so easily compared to uh, other types of clay masks I've done and it's so nice. And there you go. You can see that was really easy and my skin is nice and clean now. So I think I will follow up with a bit of moisturizer and that'll be that. All right, so that is that. That's how the mask works and looks and it's honestly very simple to make. So come on, let's dive in. We'll begin by combining the ingredients for our creamy base in this small bowl. So we're going to need two grams of emulsifying wax NF and make sure you check the blog post if you need a substitution, half a gram of subtle alcohol, and nine and a half grams of safflower oil. To melt this, I'm going to pop it in a water bath. So this is a small flat bottom saucepan that has about two thirds of an inch or two centimeters of water in the bottom of it. And I'm going to go pop this on the stovetop over medium heat for about half an hour to melt everything through. Once the ingredients for the creamy base have melted, we're going to add our clay. So this is eight grams of French green clay, and you could use a different soft clay, so something like Kellen or Zeolite would be a good choice. I don't recommend using a heavier clay, so something like bentonite or Rasool. It just doesn't give quite the same consistency and end product. 
So you can see I'm stirring the clay in while we are still you know, sitting in the hot water bath. And now that it's thoroughly blended in, I am actually going to go pop this back on the stovetop. If we take a closer look at this spatula, you can see that it's still a little clumpy. I find heating the clay with the oil mixtures helps kind of break that down without you having to stir for an eternity. So I'm going to go pop this on the stovetop for another 20 minutes or so until those lumps have pretty much taken care of themselves. So now that this has had a chance to just sort of be warm and all hang out together. Those little lumps of clay are breaking down really, really easily and there's a lot, a lot less of them than there were when we started. So we're just gonna give this a kind of a smush and stir. You can see I'm streaking my spatula across the bottom of the bowl to help break up any clumps until this is nice and silky smooth. Another way to speed up this process would be to sift your clay beforehand. So you could pass it through a fine sieve or even give it a whir in your DIY coffee grinder to break up any clumps. Now all that's left is packaging. So to package it up, I'm going to use this really cute, uh, very like flat and shallow uh, one ounce slide top tin from Yellow Bee. And all that's left to do now is to let it set up and then we can use it. Just a reminder, make sure you are not pouring it when it's still so hot that the clay is going to settle out. You could see that we had a pretty good amount of viscosity going on when we poured it. So good to go. But yeah, make sure it's not like completely super, super liquidy. Otherwise the clay will settle out of the creamy base. Now that it's set up, we're done. So we can do a little bit of a consistency check here. really gorgeously, gorgeously creamy. Melts readily onto the skin. You can see it's got great movement, feels just really slick and smooth and, and beautiful. And there we go. We just made a really simple, decadent, creamy French green clay face mask. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Please make sure you're reading the blog post linked in the description box below for a lot more information. And yeah, I'll see you next time.